my name is Dr. Katie Anthony and I am an associate professor in the School of Media and Communication. Um, this is in conjunction between Edward Street Fellowship and my senior capstone class. We have partnered with Edward Street this term and we asked them what do they need from us and one of the big things they wanted was us to somehow do a pet food drive. We've had boxes all over campus all week. We've been collecting donations through tabling on campus. And so this is kind of the culminating event where we've asked the community to come out and bring us bags of dog or cat food so that Edward Street can then distribute that food to the clients. Pet food is one of those essentials that are just hard to come by. Oftentimes people will forego their own meals to feed their pets. And so we really don't want that to happen. We want humans to be fed and we want their pets to be fed. Could you tell me your name and what's your role here today? So my name is Cinnamon Lee. I'm a senior communication studies major, and I'm currently enrolled in the CMS 390 class, which is our capstone course. And so today we're doing a pet food drive. We planned this for the first like few weeks of the semester, and today is like the final uh, touch of it. We really do want to help other people who don't have that advantage. We all do. So it's good to give back when you have the opportunity to. Being able to make a difference in, these, in people's lives and in these pets' lives incredibly important to me. Having animals know, and knowing they're fed really means a lot to me and um, giving them an opportunity to be actually to, like taken care of very well. So. so tell me a little bit more about your role and about this capstone project in general. Sure. So the whole purpose of this course is to sort of bring together the ideas they've been learning, the theories, the concepts they've been learning. And so the service learning component to me really enriches the students overall experience and really does help them um, cement in their minds those concepts that we've been teaching them for years. It's a good way to express my creativity in promotion and management and being to be able to put that into work. What I've been learning all of my um, communications career is just invigorating and really makes me excited to keep working in communications. This is amazing participation. Every student is here that could be here. So these students are volunteering throughout the weeks at Edward Street. So this is not their first interact with Edward Street. They're going, they're working in the food pantry, they're volunteering for the free clinic that Edward Street offers, and then they're also working in their thrift store. This week, they collected in their own student organizations, they tabled in the Thad Cochran Center, and so I'm super proud of this class, I'm super proud of all of the ways that they have kind of come together to plan this event that I would say has been a huge success. All right, so I have to ask, are you a cat or a dog person, and who are you doing this for back at home? Well, I love both, but I have six dogs at home, so I have to be doing it for my puppers. I love them so much. Um, there's, I have like about five little dogs and a big dog, and those are who I'm doing it for. Honestly, I'm a cat person. I feel like they're more low maintenance, but dogs are awesome too. I really like golden doodles. Those are really perfect. If I had to choose a dog, I'd probably choose that one. I'm both. I love cats, even though I'm allergic. And I have a nephew who's a snoodle. That's the light of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any pets. My roommates have pets. One of mine have a cat, and then another one has a dog. So I have both of both worlds in my apartment. Uh, always dogs. I don't mind cats, but always dogs. Do you have any animals back at home that you're doing this for? Yeah, actually I do. I have two boxers um, and two cats. So. What are their names? Uh, Bella, Rock, Daisy, and Roxy. I don't, but I'm including my nephew again. <laughs>